Hello, welcome back you guys for a new video in this series and today we are going to post some posts on our Instagram but from the admin interface so let's just get started I'm gonna toggle my terminal real quick and then I will start by making a new branch for the app on GitHub, so I'm just gonna say get what is going on, okay. Now I'm going to, I think I'm gonna activate my virtual environment. I think my site is in the right virtual environment for me, so I will deactivate that. Then I will. Uh, TV, then you run, which is Mr. Clone. Okay, now it's activated. Then I'm gonna say get checkout minus D. And I'll say step one meal. It's like just preparing everything and getting everything ready to get start developing. So now we are in the new branch. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, let's see. I'm gonna make a get ignore file right here. So that uh, it ignores all the, the files that I do not want my virtual environment to be tracked. Okay. Done. It. Okay. It ignore. And I already copied the thing from online, so I'm just gonna paste it right here. Save that. After this, I will go to settings here and then change my time zone here it's showing the time zone is is UTC so it depends on where you are put your time zone here so mine is H here slash Kuala Lumpur, I believe like that After this, I will let's see if I run my my site for the first time and see what what we are going to get. So we say Python manage the py run server. It's gonna run the server and then we we can see our our app up and running in the browser instead of just looking at code just to make sure everything is working correctly okay we just got it right here control C to jump on and here the install works successfully congratulations that means this is the first line that you are going on the right direction okay once you do everything and then you do python manage.py on the server and then you, you click on this and then you are good to go okay now i'm going to create a super user which is an admin so i'm going to say uh, Python manage.py create super user. I believe that's the right command. Yes. Create super user, which is the admin. Okay, what is wrong? 
no such table as auth user. Okay, now we need to create that from our model. So we will go to our app here, this stuff. Then I will say, then I will go to my admin, no admin, I'm going to models. Then I'm going to create a new model, which I will call it post, I believe. So models you always create as a class. So class post. And then it's inheriting from this subclass here. I'm gonna say models dot model like that. Come down here. Then I'll say author. Okay, before I do this, let me go back here to Instagram and show you what I'm trying to do. Instagram.com. So when we are creating a model we what are we looking at exactly so we are looking let's say I guess one quick post here okay when you look at this post you will see okay what is the what's in what's in this post okay okay we have a photo which is the profile photo and then we have the username we have a picture and then all of these to share and we have the caption here written by the person who made the post and then we have comments we have the time and here then you can add your comments and we have the time and everything so I'm going to to put most of this stuff for now and the rest I will add later on okay let's go back Okay, so we will say author is equal to models dot foraging key and then we open the bracket and we say here auth dot user Then here I will say a delete equals to models dot Okay. okay, I believe this should not be here, it should be like this, okay. Then I'll come back down, then I'll say, okay, now we have author. What else do we have with the with the post? It's actually an image, so I'm going to say the image is equal to models dot, and we already have an image field for Django, image field. But I'm gonna say blank uh, is equal to true, and no is also equal to true, and that is why because right now when I'm just getting started, if I didn't put a picture with the post, it is totally fine because we are just testing stuff and just working stuff out from the back end. Later on, I'm going to remove the blank stuff here at the moment. What else we have? We have a caption, which is going to be equal to models. Dot. This is just a text field. Yes, text field. And what else we have? Time, so I'm gonna say creative time. Creative date, which is models. Dot 
I believe daytime. Daytime for this one. Then uh, for the default value, we should have a default value which is the when I say default equals to time zone dot dot. Then I need to import that when I say from Tango dot import time zone. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Hopefully everything is working correctly. And let's see Python manage dot py on server. And it's If everything works correctly, then that means we are having a server running up, and I will go here, and I will go here, and for me, okay, wait, before that, I need to make the models, so, I need to create the super user now, because previously they rejected me, so I'm just going to say Python, manage the py, create, Super user. Once again, we're having the same problem. No such table as user. Okay, how are we going to solve that? Okay, so let's just uh, migrate the stuff that we just did and try one more time. So we we'll do Python manage dot py make migrate. We we'll change the text. Okay, then we try. Migrate. This is adding everything up. Okay. Now we'll try Python. Stop. Py. Create. Super user. Okay, now it's working. He said, "Okay, leave blank to use Abdullah Ashraf." Uh, I think it's a little bit hard, so I'm just gonna say Abdullah is my first name. Abdullah, just like that. For the username, for the email. Their email address. It doesn't have to be a right email address, but anyways, it's not correct right. anyway. And then password. It's not moving the cursor, but it's already making writing the password for you. So yeah, super user created successfully. I will go back here, and this time I will wait. No. I need to go back here and run the server one more time. Okay, server is running. Let's go to slash admin. Let's try and see what's going to happen. A server error occurred. Please contact us to address the issue. So I will go back to my Instagram. What is happening? Something wrong with this one A setting here. Yeah. Um, you know what? For now, let's use PC. I don't mind. Let's 
so fresh. Oh, finally. Now we just put the same username we put the when we created the app, so we say and then down here put the password that I put. Login, please let me in. Oh finally. Alright. Now you can go to users and check out everything here. We have here a lot. This is the email address and we have some stuff. I can go to the user here and see his first name. I set this all this stuff up. It's not showing you the password. It's just showing the hashed one. A little stuff. Group. You can manage all your administrative stuff right from here. We did not made any code to make this. We just we just created models and we we made the folding key and the user. Okay. In the next video we're gonna start posting from our app. Alright. Thank you so much for watching and I'm sorry some of the stuff didn't work out but I just wanna show you live coding so that you get to know how everything just works at the end so you just don't freak out. Okay? Thank you so much and goodbye.